Hi, my name is Azad Jafari with ENM. Today I want to talk about a new product called PLC Analyzer Pro 5. This is a comprehensive database application for troubleshooting and analyzing by using the online data from the controller. With increasingly sophisticated and complex control systems, the digital multimeter or monitoring of variables with PLC programming tools are not an efficient way of dealing with the machine downtime. This software tool allows you to find intermittent errors within a few minutes instead of several days. PLC Analyzer Pro 5 comes with the drivers for all major brands of PLCs and PC-based controllers. The extensive help files and manual guide the user easily through the few setup steps. Also, there is no need to modify the user program. Now I'm going to open up the software and start a new project. Once I open up the application, first thing I click on the PLC driver icon. Here I can select the right PLC driver for my application and also can change the PLC specific settings of the driver in the properties window. Settings such as station address or slot number of the CPU can be modified. Also, I can set my PLC project path here and load the existing IO list. Once this is done, I can close the properties window and close the PLC driver. At this point, I will go ahead and create a new project. I can change the name and click on continue. In this new window, I confirm which signals I wish to acquire by highlighting the signals and transferring to address inset window. Also, I can add new I.O. to my list. Now let's take a look at the scaling tab. In this window, the value of an analog signal can be scaled. For example, you can calculate physical units such as degree of Fahrenheit or meters and then display them in the online window. Another important tab is the trigger tab. Here I can define a trigger to start or stop the acquisition based on an I.O. Triggers help you locate an error in your system by starting the recording before or after the trigger is set. An example would be when you are working on a faulty diverting station on a conveyor system. You realize that it rejects both the good and the bad products. You can pick a signal such as a photo eye and drop it in the trigger definition window. Once you run the software and a good product arrives at the, proto, at the photo eye, the system starts recording and you can check and analyze all the signals from the diverting station and find the bad component such as a faulty photo eye or a bad barcode reader. So now I am done with the settings. I can click the OK and close the project options window. Now I can go ahead and start the acquisition by clicking on the Start Acquisition icon. The PLC Analyzer first starts a communication test with the automation device to test the connection. Once the connection is established, the PLC Analyzer plots the selected PLC signal data and generates one or more signal files. Now let's stop the acquisition. After the ending of an acquisition, the last generated signal file is automatically open and displayed. The time basis is automatically chosen so that the file covers the area of the entire online window. This was a short demonstration of the package. As you could see, you can set this application in just few steps and start recording your signals 
and check for errors in your system. For more information on this product and our workshops, please check out our website at www.enm.com.